Hey, what's up, guys? Well, we're back here, and today we are going to be playing some Blood Death Knight. Um, are we playing Blood Death Knight? Straight up, I just wanted to. Um, yeah, I, I don't have any other reason besides Blood Death Knight's dope. I like playing the deck, and I wanted to play the deck. So, with that being said, how about we get the first one, and we don't waste any more time in this intro, and yeah, let's queue it up. All right. Sorry if that was a little bit loud. I was closing uh, the box to my uh, CDH deck. I was trying to find a card I am missing, and I thought I was in there, but it was not. So that's fun. No idea where I put my fucking fierce guardianship. I have one, and I have the portal full out, and it's in one of my decks. And I thought it was in my CDH deck, but it is not. Although I'm getting another one soon, so that's pretty dope. I'm getting the the secret layer one. It looks so good. I, I don't I don't know about you guys, but I love like the old eight bit style video games. And man, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it looks clean as fuck. Uh, well, the picture's a little bit pixely, but. Does it look so cool? It looks so cool. I, I love this art. It's... I can't wait to have mine in person. Oh, man. I forgot what other cards that Secret Lair comes with. Uh, I won't lie. Uh, are they here? Lightning Bolt, Mana Geyser... Something Blast Fireball? I'm not, I'm not, okay, I'm not 100% sure what that third card is, but, oh, that's a YouTube video. Um, alright. Uh, what the fuck is going on here? Okay, this is fine, I guess. We have this, which should hopefully give us some life back. Don't hit taunt. No taunt one time. Pick up the other one, gain five. That's not bad. Oh, I could just do this right away, huh? Or sorry, gain 10, not 5. I'm most likely playing this next turn, so putting it down to 2 health is perfectly fine. Just hope he doesn't roll taunt, or healing totem. Now he can roll taunt, I don't give a fuck. Alright. I make a shitload of damage here, but I gain 8 back. I gain 8 back into play this the turn after. It'd be worse. Yeah, like, we're not... I won't lie, we're not in a great position. And if I brought this thing, Blood Boil does trigger first, therefore... Ah, fuck. I guess I could still hit this now. But this is decent. This dies. Okay, now this dies. Then I hit one of those. That's oh, fine. It means I get another 5, so I gain 10 off this as well. I basically need to survive till 8, because if he floods the board, I hope he doesn't flood the board. This turn, I want to flood the board next turn. Oh, well. That's pretty much flooding the board. Uh, I guess I could get a corpse explosion. That'd be a really good draw. That's not a corpse explosion. 16. 23. Well, I gotta try and kill one. Low roll. At least the other two minions were not bad ones. I just take so much damage here. I take 26 out of 10. I guess Reno is my out then. If I draw Reno, I'm in a decent spot. I want him to ideally play double 8 8 here. That's hard. I can beat that. I want to play an 8 8. Did I miscount? 
close at 10. Alright, so I'm scattered. Uh, alright, well, I can't hit face. Might as well gain the extra corpse. Uh, yeah, we're looking for a Reno draw. A Reno draw would put us in a really, really good spot. I'm gonna eat that for free, which is pretty nice. Reno? Not quite Reno, but that's still some some life gain. This here. Discover a spell from your deck. I guess this could be fine. I don't know what spells are in my deck that are really good to hit. It's so like Death Strike. This choice is actually pretty hard. So I'll just take the big dude. I don't think that's gonna get me life gain. Okay. I don't think that deck could do 10 damage burst besides maybe Crackle Crackle. I was really hoping that this would be... Uh, this would be a uh, haunt, but... This is what it is. He's in the Crackle Crackle play has to like high roll, high roll, you know? Uh, this is lethal. Bloodless is lethal. Oh, okay. I think it was pretty close. Especially with how slow of an early game he had and how good of an early game we had. Like, kind of everything almost, like, happened on curve and was, like, pretty darn good. The jam session, though, really caught us bad. Like, yeah, that jam session was just really, really good for him. Um, but hey, we got there. It's actually, the, the way he did that, if I'm not mistaken, hero power first, right? That was, like, super risky, because if he would have hit spell damage, he, like, wiped his board. But, we still ended up getting there in the end. That's pretty good. Anyways, uh, let's queue up the next one. Alright. Uh, this head is much worse. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the Theo in case this is control. My hand is really fucking bad. <laughs> Especially if it's aggro. My hand is awful. Oh my god, it's aggro. Well. Game was fun. <laughs> Straight up, this game was fun. Uh, okay. So if I survive till four, I have this which gains me some health back. That's a really good draw. That means I also have a wipe on five or later. I need life gain. Is or I need like Reno. It's like <sighs> I fucking hate that minion. Uh... Okay. I don't think he's gonna waste damage on killing this, which means my blood boil gets to eat this and wipe his board. And if he does waste his damage to killing that, I lose the game. Oh, he has a kill spell. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. I 
have to go for this instead of blood boil. That hurts. That fucking hurts. Where the fuck is my lightning storm? Where the fuck is lightning storm? This thing has three health. I'm gonna miss, and I'm gonna kill the 1-2, and that's it, and I'm dead. Oh, we actually hit those. It still doesn't make sense that I wasn't offered... Lightning Storm. Wilds me that I was not offered Lightning Storm. Treasure transport. Play both of them. That he, I know he played around blood boil, but he should have saw me coining out. Oh, he hit he hit patches patches. That's why he didn't do it. Um. Blood boil gain a million. Okay, if I go back up to fifty. I take. 10, 13, so I'm at, that's fine. We're gonna be rich. I don't think he can kill me anymore, which is why this is fine. Oh my god, another game that ended up being so fucking close. There is no light, only power. It swallows me how close this game was. I definitely feel like I could have lost at any point. Like, I was like a mind blast away from dead. I was... It was just a really, really close game overall. I'll take it though. It feels good to have a, a close game every once in a while and actually win it. Also, by the way, I don't think I said it yet, but I hope everybody has a beverage. I'm currently drinking myself a cherry coke, and it's pretty darn fucking good. But to be fair, I definitely felt like I had everything this game. I'm almost at level 200 on the track, and I believe... The set comes out the 5th, right? Please don't tell me it comes out next week. Um... In the Deep Dark Beyond? Something like that. The Great Dark Beyond. I always forget the name of the set. The Great Dark Beyond release date. Yeah, okay, thank god it's November 5th. I have something planned from the 1st to the 5th. Which means I would not have been able to play the new expansion for like, 5 days. I'm, I'm gonna be able to record videos, and I'll have videos recorded, but I won't be able... I'm like, I won't be able to stream. And thank God, because I'm planning on probably like the fifth that entire week just streaming because I want to play as much of the new expansion as humanly possible. So look forward to that. Anyways, with that being said, uh, let's cue up the next one. All right. So more aggro. This card is pretty good. Um... I'm assuming it's quest line. So we want to hit this. We want to hit this. We want to hit um, patchwork, and we want to hit etc. And the other card that gains us life. 
they're very, very key to us winning the game. And we hope we don't get glided. Um, so on five, I can do this. Uh, on four, I can do this. And that's fine. That's annoying. That means I can't hero power to have the blood for this. Because if we do, like, pull a Rana early on or Ilganoth early on, I mean, we won the game, right? So... Uh, that's a little tilting. Was that both players draw? That means I burn a card? Yeah, that was... Not ideal for me. I won't lie. Those are not ideal draws for me. If I burn Patchwork, I cry. I cry so hard. Didn't get so far. But in the end, it still fell That's... Uh, honestly, a perfectly fine burn. Um, fuck. I was really hoping to be able to play something else, but math wise, it just didn't work. All right, let's bring he drew a Rana and not glide. Or Ilganoth and not glide. It just feels so good to just get the the win like this early into the game, you know. Oh, thank God. Okay, so you didn't hit my hand too. Are you for fucking real? Are you for fucking real? I mean, I killed that, which I guess is fine. But, are you for fucking real? My this is the life steal, dude. Dead man, shoot the issue is I just don't have a kill spell for an Arana if I pull one. Is there like a 2-6, right? At least I don't have a way to like... Oh, no, it should be fine. If I do pull... Do I take the 50-50 here? Like, uh, it's not quite a 50-50. Right. Uh, you know what? If he has it, he has it, right? Um... That's clearly not what I wanted. Clearly not what I wanted. It's also Ilganoth, I believe. I've yet to see a weapon or a play as if he had the weapon. He also gets to slam a really early Kurtris. Which is not ideal, but... Okay. It is what it is. Who's hiding now? Hmm. Okay, that's not good for me. I was really hoping for a patchwork. I really need to draw patchwork. It's the best card for me to draw here. Just patchwork nukes three things. He has one more of these left, one single runner left. And like, that's it. Therefore, like, patchwork is almost guaranteed Killarana or Ilganoth. I mean, if he's the Ilganoth version, I guess there is a couple more cards he has, but. Let's hopefully jack a win con. Thank you. Here. Have this guy. Next turn I eat this. Gain seven. Win the game. Uh, eat this. Gain seven. 
trade into here. I don't, I don't even have to really trade into there. Like, again. With this, I actually kind of want to get low. Combo? Combo? Uh, uh. You know what? We're going to play greedy, and I don't give a fuck if I lose the game because of this. But I want to pull this off. I really don't care if I lose the game because of this. The dream is worth it. The dream is absolutely worth it. So I'm at 47 minus 20. So that's 27 burst. It's okay. I just draw Ilganoth Reno. Fuck. 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 Okay, that one's not bad. But I had a dream, guy. I had a dream to kill you with your own Ilganoth and my Reno. Anyone order a ghoul to the face? I still need to, like, kind of be careful. Like, that is an actual thing I still have to worry about, is just dying. So I believe there's one of the burn spells that actually does hit me the dome. Okay, now I at least have something that can trade, which is pretty nice. Keep this. Given I survive. Okay. Start by getting a life here. I'm pretty sure that doing it this way is better. I take four here, yes. But two spells made the the 07 deal as much damage. So. There's no way he's also playing Arana, right? He's just wasting my time. That would suck. Truly. That would truly be miserable. If he's just wasting my fucking time. So I definitely feel like we have this game in the bag. Again, besides maybe Arana. And everyone. That's fine. Again, I can beat, I feel, anything he throws at me fairly easily. Let's do this here. I should have threw a card first. Got an extra corpse. Yeah, I should have threw a card first to get the extra corpse. I think now he's out of creatures, right? Okay, besides that one. We ignore that one's existence. He still has another demon. Oh. Uh -huh. She didn't play the base one. I just need a volunteer. I'm at two? I actually lose this game. What the Well, I have to go with something else else, even though it uses up all my fucking mana and the cards are not free anymore. I think I lost this game, which is wild. One minute off that, I can play that. Game 10, I don't know if I... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I make Zaxxies. 
I make Zaxis. Fuck me dead. I lost to Glide. I hate that card. I hate that card. They're just Xaxis, right? 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm so annoyed. I'm so fucking annoyed. I'm so annoyed. I don't think I realistically had any out in my deck. Because there's no zero mana freeze card in the base set. My out was exactly Reno Portrait or Reno. Right? Everything else weren't real outs. That's... Man, I guess I should have just Renoed instead of playing the other guy. If I... Again, I went for the flashy play of trying to kill him with Reno Ilganoth, knowing full well I get fucked by Glide. But he had already played one. I thought the list only played one. He had a second one. Oh well, it is what it is, but... And the definite right choice there was just to play Reno. Instead of going up to, what was it, like 27? I would have went up to 40. Which meant I had an extra 13 health there to play with. Yeah, that, that, that was just... And then I would not... I could have just wiped the board earlier. Would have saved me even more health. Yeah, it was... I played greedy and I got punished for it, you know? And, uh, you know, at least sometimes punished. Because Reno was... Reno's the play I should have done, let's be honest. Anyways, uh, we have time for one last game, so let's queue it up. Scarlet versus Uther. I will fight with honor. Let the blight begin. All right. Um... We're keeping Rat because I have a feeling it's Reno and... Yeah, we want to keep this because I'm... Yeah, it's Reno and playing against Reno. Their main win con nowadays is Uther combo. Therefore... Doing that is pretty good. Yeah. I was reading a message from someone. Um, our hand is honestly not the worst hand I've ever seen. It's a little slow, but it gets there. Hopefully. Because, yeah, our... This is going to sound potentially a little... It's not rain. I guess I could still be playing that in Reno. I know you used to. I don't think you played it anymore, though. This is actually not bad here. It was, like, Obliterate was also a pretty decent choice, but this was not bad. Uh, it, it helps control the board. And again, double this with Reno in some matchups, and it's really silly. You're gonna love the way you yeah. Against this, we get blood. Uh, actually, yeah, it, it has to be vampiric blood, right? Clever, aren't you? I don't have the corpses for this to make it relevant here. I think vampiric blood is definitely just a better choice. I already have a soul stealer. I'm gonna go with vampiric blood. It might be wrong. 
and I'm gonna poke base. It doesn't trade into any of these. I mean, I guess I could have thrown this here, and the next turn I could have hero powered, and then. But I want to hero power this. Punch this. With this. I'm playing a just great hand buff. This is whack. This is not the matchup I thought I'd be playing today. Straight up. Wasn't even on my list of top 10 decks I thought I was going to be playing against today. Blood Boil is not bad, but he gets multiple triggers of this, which is, spoilers, not a good thing. I have like one more dead turn till I feel like I'm playing at least a relevant card into relevant card into relevant card. I think I have to play this here. Just try to take something he'll play next turn out of his hand. I don't want the ETC. <laughs> ETC is the greedy choice. This is the better choice. This is going to be a 14-14 after he plays this. Hmm. Worst cards I could have possibly been given the option of giving him. <laughs> Straight up. I was hoping to give him like this. Or this. Not this. Or not the the blood. Blood is like just so good for us that it's like it feels bad every time you have to give it away. If he does this trade, this could be a decent play. I wanted this because I want another soul stealer with how big his shit is. I feel another soul stealer is almost necessary to win the game. Am I just dead? Also, it doesn't just not matter. Eight, fifteen, twenty. 28. I am just dead. I'm forced to play this here. It gives me enough life to survive. If he commits more minions here, he's throwing. Unless he unless they have charge. They have charge. It's perfectly fine. 25 i'm at 34 i hope he plays more minions again it's like that's like best case scenario for me um oh he had the charge camera oh well i haven't played against hand buff pally in so fucking long yeah, we were one turn away right if he had just committed like say the guy who doubles the stats and we fucking wiped the board i'm pretty sure we had won the game because then next turn he plays another big dude, and then we go, alright, eat it with Titan, and then win the game like that. It's wild to me how... Where is it? Like, this level here? Fucking wild to me. I remember the first one where I'm like, oh yeah, I'll get to like, level 100 by like, midway through the season, and then maybe like 120 after that. And I think I hit like 135 or somewhere in that range the first season. Now I'm at 200. I feel like I play this game a little bit too much. <laughs> um, and I have a feeling, because we have like, what, another week and a half? Full week, half a week, yeah. We have like slightly less than a week and a half. I think I'm going to be able to hit 10 more levels in that time, especially like through streams and whatnot. I'm going to end it at level 200. Is that? No, the cap is 300, right? How the f fuck do you hit level 300 that's what i want to know how much time do you play this game because i feel like i play this game a lot and i'm not even close to that so hey anyways i don't know how much else to say so i i just clicked on a tab and it's a hearthstone deck and i really want to play this this looks really we're gonna play this tomorrow I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's similar to a deck we've played recently, and that looks, deck looks hilarious, I'll be honest. Anyways, um, I don't have anything to say about Blood Death Knight that I've not already said. Deck is a blast to play, I, I love playing it every single time I play it. Um, I don't have anything else to say, so I'm just going to... 
call it here hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always follow me on twitch and twitter have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys all in the next one where hopefully we get some more dubs all right guys yeah peace